Now, um, with sadness, President of Aituri Community, the larger local government area of Ondo State, has staged a protest and called on the federal and the state government to save their souls and rescue the community from incessant ocean shard. Now, they made this call during a peaceful protest at the main streets of the community. Now, women, youth, children, uh, school children, and aged people of Aituri Community in the oil rich larger local government area of Ondo State staged a peaceful protest alleging neglect by the state and federal government in the face of a ravaging ocean surge that has rendered over 5,000 persons homeless and destroyed critical structures in the community. We need urgent attention in Ayatul. Our lands and houses and buildings and shops and industries have all been washed away. We can no longer sleep. We have become refugees in our father's land. We are living in makeshift buildings. We are shifting our houses almost every three months. And yet, the sea keeps coming. We make this appeal to government at, this, at all levels and the consigned agencies to quickly come to our aid. We don't want the story of two contracts awarded and nothing was done. We want a direct job. We want an action consigning Ayatollah shoreline protection. Save our soul. Save Ayatollah now. Now, Oba Ojangumi called on President Bola Ahmed Tunibu demanding a comprehensive audit and urgent probe of the multi billion naira funds voted for the community's coastline protection and the needed return of contractors to the site. I want to know what happened to the 1.3 billion? Naira that was awarded for Ayatoro Shoreline Protection Project in 2003 that was awarded to Gallet Nigeria Limited because we never saw the contractor, we never saw equipment, we never saw a pinch of sand deposited on our shoreline. Nothing was done. Secondly, we want to know what happened. In 2009, we want to know what happened in 2009 to 6.5 billion awarded by NDDC for Ayatollah shoreline protection because no job was done. We want to know if we are bona fide Nigerians, if this area, this land, Ayatollah, is not covered in the mandate area of the oil producing communities it can be done if there is political will so i want to know where is the political will of the government concerning ayatollah shoreline protection now some residents lamented the loss of economic livelihoods for many in the community as its primary source of income car came from fish processing. One economics wise, we could no longer trade because main occupation in this city is fishing. And we women, we could no longer have a kitchen where we dry fish. Our pupils could no longer go to school because the school has been relocated about four or five times. Yet, where they are now, the sea is already threatening them. Don't allow the glory of this country, I mean our children, to be jeopardized by your death here that you turn to the cry of Ayatoru. I'm saying come to our aid, that Lord will bless you. Come and say for Yetoro. The sea culture has made many people homeless and our school now is at stake. The teachers and the students are now losing hope because the first building is now at stake. So we are pleading our government to save our future, to save our soul and save our Yetoro community. My house? I've already broken. My house is my drinking person. I can't gather my children up to now. We are not together. Even to my wife, we are not together. Because I'm an old man. I'm 77 years old now. 
I can't go and work to gather money and build up another house. Being that I can used to gather all my children in the same place. Every time they came, we always be voting for them. Always. We pay our tax, we also pay, uh, vote for them. But uh, when they come, we vote for them. They go, we, don't see, we, can't, we cannot see them any, any, any more again. I don't know what to happen. Maybe just, they use us as a, as a ATM that we will be vomiting uh, photo, scan, uh, photo strength to them. That is what they are using us for, uh, from, uh, for night. Oh, Miss Law on those states here. On those states, they are using us as a ATM. We don't like it. Robert has requested a massive feat for purpose embankment uh, along the shoreline involved, informed by the community's recommendations and into scientific research conducted by universities and environmental experts both within and outside the country.